I'm going to start off with my regular pack of 52 cards because a lot of probability questions will relate to cards. So you must know very, very well on what in a pack of cards, what they consist of. You can see over here, I got all these pictures of all the parts in the cards. You have to know how many of each and what different colors there are as well. So you can see we have four aces, but we don't have number one. So make sure you don't think that there's a one in the cards. It always starts from two up to ten, and it's always four of each card. So you can treat A being number one. And we have court cards. Court cards are jack, queen, and king. We have four of each as well. When we're looking at probability, we don't consider any jokers. So don't think that there's any jokers in the cards. They're always neglecting jokers. So don't worry about jokers in any probability questions, unless they do specify, but it's really rare for them to specify for any jokers. So this is all you need to consider. And you should also know there are black cards and red cards. And if you count them up, you can see that there's 52 cards in total. So you must remember that number, 52. With these card questions, I do recommend for you to draw up this table at the beginning of the question and then just relate to this table whenever you answer a question because once you draw up this table, answering the question is really simple. It's just a matter of counting up some blocks. I've got diamond, heart, clover and a spade here. You can see that, so there's four shapes in the pack of cards and I've got A up to 10, jack, queen and king. It says picture cards and you can see this part here colored in blue this part, these three, are simply the picture cards. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, so 12 in total. Red cards are just these two. These two are red cards, just half of the cards. Half are red, half are black, so red cards are just exactly half. Black cards are these two, so again, similar to the red cards, half of the pack of cards. Half the cards are black. A. Find the probability that the card is jack. So, so you can see I've got the table here and I always want to refer to this table. If you get used to this and you think you can answer the questions without doing the table, that's great. But for most of you, I do recommend you to draw this up because it really does help. Find the probability that the card is a jack. I know that jack is these. So therefore, it's simply 4 out of 52. And make sure you always simplify it 1 over 13. B, find the probability that the card is a 10. These are the 10. There's only four out of 52 that makes 10. The probability simplified is one over 13. We wanna find the probability that the card is a jack or a 10. Jack or a 10 is gonna be this and this. So how many in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's simply eight out of 52, which is simplified to two on 13. Find the probability that the card is a jack and a 10. Jack and a 10 is zero because there's no particular block that has jack and a 10. This is jack and this is a 10, but there's no card that is jack and a 10. We could have jack and a heart, for example, or a 10 and a heart, but we can't have a card that both jack and 10, so that's why it's probably zero. There's no outcome. Find the probability that it is neither a jack nor a 10. Neither a jack nor a 10 means we don't want it to be a jack or a 10. So it must be anything else except excluding these two outcomes. It's 52 minus 8, which is 44. So 44 out of 52 is the answer for this question. Just simplify it to 11 over 13. Okay, a black. That black is exactly half, just this part here. So it's simply 26 out of 52, which is exactly half. That it is a picture card. Now a picture card is the court cards that I've mentioned, the jack, queen, and king. So these three are the picture cards, or sometimes you call it a court card. So it's simply 12 out of 52, which is simplified to three on 13. Black picture card. Black, we know that it's the bottom two rows. And if it's a picture card, it's out of these three. So it's simply this part here, okay, this part. So it's simply six out of 52, which is simplified to three on 26. Black or a picture card. So it could be a black or a picture. We know that these are picture cards and these are blacks. So all of this is what we include here. Okay, it could be black or a picture card. So even if it's red, if it's a picture card, that's included. So if you count them up, you should get 32. So 32 out of 52, which is simplified to eight on 13. Finally, neither black nor a picture card cannot be a black or a picture card. So it must be anything else apart from the stuff that we had in the previous question I. 
it can't be black at all and it can't be any of the picture cards so it must be the remaining this part here now get the one part in blue count them up you get 20 so it's 20 out of 52 which is simple 5 on 30. And you can see that after I draw this table up it's very very simple as I said it's just a matter of counting them up but the key thing I want you to be careful here is how to distinguish the all and the and in the question. Okay, so just be really, really careful when you're reading the question.